It's not meat and three after night of five, you guys. Is it? Or is it? Let me oh, wait. Oh, there's rook f3 and there's mate. Oh, there's mate. There's rook f3 and queen f4. Oh, I'm blind. Ah, oh, there's mate. Oh, wait. No, you're right. You're right. There is a mate. Wait a second. Oh, so then you take first and go knight f5, maybe. And now, now the board is such a mess that I, I can't actually figure it out. Okay, you guys, what do we have here? This is black to play and uh, black to play and win here. Let's see. Okay, so this is not to win, but black should be fine. First one that comes to mind is knight takes c4. Idea being bishop c4, rook c4, rook c4, bishop a6. But then knight c6 looks good for white. Um, queen h4 looks like an obvious move. Um, what else makes sense here? You can also just take maybe. I mean, knight c4, c4, rook c4, rook c4, bishop a6. Looks fine. Then queen g4, bishop c4, maybe knight f5. Hmm. You can also just go bishop a6 right away, but then knight e6 looks, looks weird. Jesus Christ, chat. I have no idea. You can also trade everything down and go e2, but that, that doesn't make any sense either. So my instinct is that it's knight c4. I don't know which knight c4 it is, but I think it's it's takes c4 bishop a6, but the knight c6, no, 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 that looks insane. I really feel like it's it's one of these three moves. So takes, takes here, knight c6, and you lose. Okay. Queen h so the more that I look at some more queen h4 starts to feel like the obvious, obvious choice. Um Bishop d5 is bad. Bishop a6 is, is a move. Bishop a6, knight e6 makes some sense, I suppose. Although, it's just bad. It's just bad. Okay. Rook c4, bishop a6. Looks pretty damn good for me. It's got to be something with this move. It's got to be something with this move. There's also knight c6 and d6 that they could flick in. This is kind of hanging. I can discount moves like knight to e4. Uh, I can discount... I mean, it, it, it's got to be something with this pawn, basically. A move like queen g5 will run into... Will it run into knight e6? Queen g5. Like, what's wrong with a move like queen g5? Knight e6, rook e6, d e6. Knight f3 check, king h1. Queen, like, f4? What the hell? Am I winning there? Why am I winning there? How did that happen? Why am I winning? Like, I don't know, I don't know why I would go here. I'm just trying to discard certain moves. So I think it has to be queen h4 then, because you're, you're, you're definitely getting sauce on the diagonal with, by the bishop towards g7. Queen h4, knight e6, though, looks very scary. Maybe there's takes, takes, knight g4, g3. Hmm. Yeah. What other moves are there? It's queen h4, there's bishop a6, there are two captures, and there's... Wait, rook f8, knight e6, rook f2? Wait, wait, rook f8 takes knight f3 is actually quite good. Wait, so rook f8, rook f1, and then rook f2 takes, takes, king f1. Still not clear. Still not clear. Hmm. Bishop a6, rook takes. Take the queen, take, take, take. That's bad for me. So, bishop a6 looks... Not bad, more than I look at it. There's also maybe a b5 somewhere in here. Do I have anything else? Do I just improve my position? Also queen h4. Hmm. Ah, but rook f8, rook f1, you can take a c4 hangs. Yes, yes, yes. It's rook f8 because then on rook f1, you trade and c4 is hanging at the end. And if queen e3, knight f3 is good, 
Rook f1 takes, queen f1, rook f8 over is good. If rook f1, knight c4 takes, takes, knight f5 though. Still tricky. Still very tricky. Knight b5 takes, takes, bishop a6, knight c6, knight c6, d6, rook c6. This move looks very strong. Now that I'm looking at it, this move looks very strong. So I have to figure out what's wrong with this move. Maybe something like knight e6. Jumping in my face. This knight e6 move, which is... Knight e6 move is very tough to deal with. Uh... I'm sure it's rook f8, so I'm pretty... Con or Wait, let me, let me not make moves. I'm pretty sure it's rook f8, rook f1. And if rook f2, he takes, takes king f1, which is no good. So I'm assuming you trade... Takes knight c4, bishop c4. Mm, that doesn't look right. Yeah, th this one actually is pretty pretty difficult. This one is not obvious at all. Um, rook f1. This takes. I'm pretty sure it's rook f8. Pretty sure. Pretty sure it's rook f8. But I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's just rook f8, rook f8. Rook f8, rook f1, trade, trade. C4, take, takes e2, rook e1. Yeah, it's got to be rook f8. I'm pretty sure it's rook f8. I'll unmute myself. Or actually, I'll mute myself back. Yeah, I mean, it, it just has to be rook f8. There's, there's nothing else that makes sense here, as far as I can tell. I mean, if it's not rook f8, I don't know what else it could be. Like, what what, what else could it be here? Is there is there anything else that, that makes sense? I mean, rook f8, rook f1 is the only thing I can see here. And then, like, I mean, rook f2 takes six, king f1, bishop a6 also makes sense. Queen h4 also makes sense. I mean, there are many moves that make sense here. My instinct, actually, you know, I think I, my instinct says probably it is rook f2 takes six, king f1, bishop a6. Even though I can't calculate all the way to the end without spending 10 years. Yo. Yeah. Um. Okay, so first thing I thought of, uh, I thought c4 looked delicate. Mm -hmm. um, I was looking for ways to, like, I was looking for a knight c4. Mm -hmm. Um. Obviously, if bishop c4, rook c4, rook c4, bishop a6, that's... That I, looks good, unless I miss oh, something. You can but, invite me to the board. Yeah. Yep. Um. So, I think I just did. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. There it is. Yeah. I mean, I I, I spent a lot of time at the start trying to make um, trying to make yeah knight c fours work. Like I really wanted to make a knight c four bishop a six work, but it I don't think it does work. Right. Like. So, I, like, uh, knight c4 immediately, I thought white just takes with the rook. Right, exactly. Yeah, which, I, yeah, because knight takes, rook takes, and bishop a6. I think there was knight c6, if that was my calcul. Oh, rook. I thought even rook c8 and rook e8 and knight e2. Oh, yeah, 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 even that. Yeah, even that with rook e8 is also quite good, or should be good, yeah. Yeah, no, I basically, but, I tried to make the knight work, knight captures work once I couldn't. Then I, I mean, bishop a6, knight e6, I just realized it's just terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, good. And so, so then I, like, then I focus on other things. I actually came up, I thought queen h4 was another idea. Queen g5? Um, Queen g5, I thought just knight e6. Oh, I guess knight e6 you can you take, take. And you have bishop f3. This is true. Yeah, even... So, mm -hmm. so wait, correct me if I'm wrong. Knight e6, rook e6 takes knight f3. Knight f3. Yeah. King and then H1. queen f4. And then queen f4. Yeah, that that also actually looks really quite good. Yeah, that's yes. also just good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. But see, now, this is the problem. I didn't see anything beyond knight e6, and this is what scares me. Like, I'm probably missing something, but... Right, so is queen g5 the move you think is right? Yeah, but now that I'm here, like, I'm looking at knight f3. But knight f3, I guess we just take? Yeah, but then queen f3, e2, rook e1. I mean, maybe you have queen d... No, but queen d2, queen c... Maybe queen c3, maybe queen... I'm not sure about this. I, yeah, because the move that I thought is different. The move I thought was rook f8, actually. Because uh, I only looked at queen h4. I didn't actually. I actually missed queen g5 as a move. I only looked at queen h4. Um, and once once queen h4 didn't work. Um, Why, by the way? Yeah. What is there after queen h4? Oh, there's that nothing. I just I, I didn't see queen g5. So I thought like there must like queen h4, knight h4, and queen f2 or something. Mm. That that's what I was looking at here. 
Um, Ruka Fate. I didn't even consider Ruka Fate. So we just considered and spent... I mean, five minutes is not enough time for these positions. But Yeah, yeah, no, um, definitely not. I mean, I thought Rook Fate was right because Queenie 3, there's Knight F3, Chuck. I mean, it, it makes some sense, oh, doesn't it? I Yeah, that, that does make sense. If there's Knight F3, then... But then there's Rook F1, and then I think Rook F2 is right. Wow. Uh, Rook F2, Pawn F2... Yeah. Oh, and then you have knight d3. Right. King, King well, f1? Well, yeah. Queen f2, you have knight d3, which is a, which is a triple fork, right? And if, yeah. if king, king f1, I think you have bishop a6 here hitting the diagonal. I really wanted to sack, but I still don't think it works after takes. Like rook c4 and then some, I don't know, like knight b5. Like something like knight b5 and there's like back rank Queen. checkmates. E5 yeah. is hanging. Like it's it looks kind of random. Wow. So it, it's really, really, really random there. Like, very, very random. Um, yeah. Okay. So rook f8. Um, and I think you have to go rook f1. Because otherwise, what else can you play if not if um, if not rook f1? Uh, this move is, com like, completely new to me. So, 96 anyway? or Yeah, 96 then... and rook f2. Queen e3, rook, rook takes. Queen takes, rook takes a2. Jesus. I mean, so, like, I thought Rook F1, and then I think takes, takes, and, like, I don't know, like, wait, wait, not Knight 6 sorry. So, Rook F1, I think here, here, King F1, and then either it's Knight C4 or it's Bishop A6. I don't know which one it is, but I don't, well, Knight C4 loses the Queen, I guess. So, if you take, <laughs> you can only take with this. No, but actually, then it just loses, because then, then you don't you don't even have the luxury. Yeah, right. you don't have the luxury. Yeah, yeah, then, then it has to be just Bishop A6. Knight, I don't Knight of, now ninety six. Now ninety six. Oh, but you have you're always threatening to take and then go knight d two, which is the problem. Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I think so. I don't know, but yeah, just use the engine. Yeah, if if if, if only life was that easy. Um, um. Yeah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll look what it says. Like like my my uh -huh. issue is. I didn't. I didn't get to the bottom of queen g five. Like I saw that ninety six doesn't work, but I don't actually know what my threat is. Right, that's also like, true. Yeah, because the thing I think is if if White can move move the knight very quickly, like say you could play knight six and you can't take, you're just gonna lose because of the diagonal. Basically, you're gonna lose e three is weak, you're, and the diagonal is weak, and your knight is not stable at all in the center. Like you don't have a pawn supporting it, so like you kind of have to do something immediately. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. At least that one was 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 complex enough that we were able to come up with unique ideas um okay number four you are correct it is rook f8 yes and uh finally defending the problem okay so so first i want to see what he says about queen g5 mm -hmm. you are correct it is rook f8 he does calculate queen g5 it's not such a terrible move mm -hmm. <laughs> it is just that after rook f1 okay so i was right that 96 is wrong but right. rook f1, uh, yeah, and g3, and white is okay. Like Yeah, see, because that's the problem. Like, kind of, if you don't get an attack and I can put my knight on e6 with the outpost, you're in really bad shape because, like, you're actually, there are a lot of problems with the position for black. Because your bishop is behind the pawn, pawn wall here, so you have no, no scope towards g2. Secondly, white's bishop on b2 is very active if he can if he can ever play knight e6. Third, you have a weakness on e3, and, and so it's like if e3 is weaker than c4, your position could fall apart in like two or three moves. So you, you have a lot of, lot of problems here, and you have to come up with some sort of tactical solution immediately, I think. At least that's, um, that's how I perceive it. So everything... Uh, everything you said is, is, is the line of the book. So, uh, okay, so it's, so it's Rook F8, Rook F1, and then Rook F2, Rook F8, right? Rook F1, Rook F2, Rook F2, EF2, King F1, mm -hmm. Bishop A6, mm -hmm. Knight B5. Okay, let me, I didn't actually get this far. Let me see if I can figure out what the move is after Knight B5. But you're not, you're not actually winning, <laughs> are you? I mean... <laughs> no, it's equal. Wait, do you have some bizarre Knight B5, Rook C1, and Knight D3? Well, apparently the best move wait. is queen e5. And it's just a draw. Yeah, because, wait, because Levy, if pawn takes you, this is beautiful, you trade, right? Takes, 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 knight d3, and you mate. Oh, that's beautiful. Right? Or wrong? Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. that's right. So 
here you just sack and you yep. make a new queen. Yep. Or yeah. you make a rook. Yeah, a, a rook for the uh, for the memes. Wow. Yeah, that's why. So the best move is queen e5. And then, wow. So with best play, chess is a draw. And if not, you have a spectacular checkmate. Correct. Yes, correct. Absolutely. So yeah, I'm glad I kind of mm -hmm. I kind of worked at C4 being incorrect. I mean, for a five minute thing, seeing that this is like you have all these ideas. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I think it's a posi positionally positionally you're lost. That's the problem. Yeah, like positionally you're just lost. You're like if White gets a knight to E6, like you know, uh, let me just play a random. If White gets a knight to E6, you just resign because mm -hmm. the diagonal you just get killed on the diagonal, yeah. and E3 is weak. You you just lose the game immediately. So like when when you realize that it's that delicate that basically you you have a bad bishop you have a weak pawn and like in one move you're gonna lose you have to look for very um very quick like tactical sequences because every everything in this position is bad for black basically you've got a weak pawn on e3 bad bishop on b7 white has the bishop pair you have like no outpost really in the center your knights are not stable um so every everything about the everything from positional standpoint is very bad for black. So that's why you have to look for tactical tactics immediately. So I'm just I'm just trying to play this out in my head. I, I'm very like rook f8 rook f like this is a very nice thing to look at mentally. I'm curious what I. Well, maybe I, just I, missed I, knight f3. You might have just I might have just missed this. Yeah. 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 And if you don't have that, you don't have anything. Well, right. I mean, <laughs> you know, there yeah, is. I mean, there even is even this, this, by the way, is not. This is not so clear with it with the two bishops. I mean, this is this is not clear at all. I'm not. Yeah. I'm actually not sure if black is better. Really not sure. Yeah, the the top line is pretty absurd. Um, well, some someone actually asked a good question before we got on to the next one. Which they asked like, would this be my same train of thought in like a real game? And the answer to that, you guys, really it depends. If it's if it's like a classical game, yes, I would have a very similar thought process. If it's a blitz game. Or, I mean, bullet while well, you don't think, but in, in Blitz, like, I would maybe have similar thought process about, like, what's wrong with position, but I don't think I would find Rook F8 in a Blitz game. And this is, like, an example of, like, you know, in a Blitz game, Queen G5. Games are, are a lot like, Yeah, it, actually, in a Blitz game, probably I would play Queen yeah. G5. Yeah, I think in a Blitz yeah. game, I would play Queen G5, almost certainly here, because it Cause makes sense. You just see 96 doesn't work, but then, right. yeah, well, because think about that. I mean, you're thinking five minutes, you're thinking mm -hmm. as long as one entire Blitz game. True. Yeah, no, for it's a good one point. move. Yeah, no, so, very true. And in classical, you spend eight nine minutes here, maybe, and then you just find you find rook f eight. Like it's mm -hmm. not. I don't right. think rook f eight is a, is a crazy move to find. Yeah, yeah, no, no. For, I, yeah, I think you can find it, but it, like if you don't have time, there's. I think rook f eight is a very hard move to play, very very hard. And after rook f one to play, see rook f two is also not not natural whatsoever. Um. All right, so we have one more, right? Yeah, what, one or two. How many have we done? Four or five? Four, yeah, we can do like two more. Okay. I'm 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 nearing ten hours of streaming, but I feel wow. fresh. Okay. Nice. I, I'm not gonna feel fresh. You 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 crash after. Like Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. When you're when you're in the zone, okay. That that one's giving me PTSD. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Miranda's own game. Here we go. Okay. This is puzzle twenty six. Uh, okay, white pieces, pawns on a2, mm -hmm. h2, f3, and h4, mm -hmm. king on f2, mm -hmm. queen on c2, mm -hmm. rooks on g5 and b7, mm -hmm. and knight is on d4. Okay. Uh, black has king g8, mm -hmm. queen d6. Mm hmm. Knight h5, mm -hmm. rooks on d3 and e8, mm -hmm. and pawns on a5, d5, and uh, g7. Okay, and this is white or it's white to move, right? This is white to move, yeah. Okay, perfect. Yep. Okay, awesome. All right, I'll mute myself then. Cool. Okay, let's let's go. Let me copy this. Wait, what? It says invalid PGN. One second. Wait, wait. Copy the fun. One second, you guys. Okay, there we go. Okay, all right. This is white. This is what this is white to play and white to play and win. Um, let's see. So what what are the moves here? White is queen d three, obvious move. White is rook h five, which is bad. So king g two, knight f four. You resign. Um, you can also take take king f eight and queen d. Ooh, ooh. Do you have takes takes takes? 
Okay, wait. So takes, takes, takes. You can't takes a check collecting the queen. So takes, takes, king h8, queen d3, queen h2, rook g2, queen h4, king g1 and f1 get mated. You can still block, but then check, and it's a draw. So it's probably not rook g7 first. Okay, so let's say you take, take rook g2, queen h4. It's still the same thing. Um, so that's no good. So you can also go king g1. Oh, king g1, but then rook e1. King g2, knight f4, and you lose. Um, you have queen c7, but then rook d2, and you probably lose. Um, what, what else can you play? You can also go rook g7 and something, but it doesn't look right. What are the moves that make sense here? Let's, let's think. Um, king f1 maybe is a move. Doesn't look right. Um, what else makes sense here? Let's see. Knight f5 is, is not, is not, is not a good move because of h2. h2 is the big problem in the position. Um, let's see. What are the moves that you have? Oh, it's just knight f5. I'm such an knight f5, queen h2, rook g2. Oh, but then queen e5, but then you go check. And if king h8, you go knight f7 with the fork. And if king f8, you have rook f7. So it's just knight f5. I'm stupid. Knight f5, and you just, I think you just win. Well, that looks like a problem. Is that a free rook? Check. Rook g2. What else do I have besides that? Um, I'll play here. Here, 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 knight f5 is winning. So here, here, rook g7, if king h8, queen d3, queen h2, rook g2, queen h4, Rook g3, queen h2, king f1, here, here, queen h3. <laughs> Is this just a draw? Oh my god. I have absolutely no idea. Um... There's a way I can put a knight on f5, hit the queen, and if it comes here, I can play rook g2. So, for example, rook g7, knight g7, knight f5, something like that. Like knight f5, queen h2, rook g2. I'm threatening rook g7, and the rook is hanging. Rook f3, king f3, then queen f4 is mate. Unless there's some trick with, like, queen, wait, knight f5, queen c5, takes, check... F1, check, king g2, check, king h3, check, king g4, and you win the game. Yeah, it's just knight f5. It's just knight f5, obviously. Yeah, it's just knight f5. Yep, that's all it is. Yeah, it's knight f5, queen h2, rook g2, and, and you're just winning. Yep, pr pretty obvious. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's what it is. Although, wait, you, there is queen h1 after knight f after queen h2. Wait, there is queen h1, but then I think you have rook b1 to collect. Yeah, you have rook b1 at the end. Yes. Yes, of course. That's how, that's how you win. And then if rook e2, you take, he takes, you go check, he goes up, you take, he goes back, you take, he goes over, and then you check me on h8. Perfect. Yes, absolutely perfect. Yeah, that, that's how you do it. King g2, knight f4. I don't think it's rook g7. I don't think it's brute force because rook g7, rook g7, there's like king h8, for example. And then if queen d3, queen h2, it's just a draw. Rook g2, queen h4, if king g1, rook e1. If checked in here, then king f1. Uh, wait. Here, 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 king h8. There's there's no way. I kind of think it might be king f1. King f1, process of elimination, rook takes d4, rook h5, there's still no checks. Rook e1, king e1, clearly that's not good. Um, rook h6... 
Rook e6, Queen c8 is mate. I mean, although there is Queen issue, Rook g2, Rook f3, King f3, check. King f2, Rook f8. And then King g1 back, Rook f5. You have some kind of check here to hit the king and then also come back on the diagonal. So I think I think it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's knight of five, but let's see. Um it's not mate and three after knight of five, you guys. Is it? Or is it? Let me oh wait, oh there's rook f three and there's mate. Oh, there's mate. There's rook f three and queen f four. Oh, I'm blind. Ah, oh, there's mate. Oh wait, no, you're right. You're right. There is a mate. Wait a second. Oh, so then you take first and go knight f5, maybe. Now now the board is such a mess that I, I can't actually figure it out. Um, Queen h2. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let, let me clear the board. Yeah, yeah. Knight, knight f5 is wrong. Uh, I made the mess, though. Yeah. Yeah, I mean King G one is the move that I initially thought it was, but then there's Rook E one and you're you're in bad shape. It's not King G one. King F or wait, I make the move. Actually, you know what it is it's King F one probably. Yeah, it's just King F one and Rook H five. It's just King F one. Yeah, it's just King F one, must be. Although King F one, Queen A six is still very tricky. And then like I don't know. I'm not sure. King F one seems right to me. I think it's king f1. King f1, queen a6, though, and I don't know what the move is. That's the problem. I mean, king g1, rookie 1 doesn't look right either. Although, maybe there you have a draw or something. Oh, because the rook is hanging, so maybe you make a draw. I don't know. At this point, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just, I think it's probably king g1 technically, but I wasted all my time on the other move. Yo. Yo, uh, I well, I heard what you said, um, okay. but uh, I, why? <laughs> well, so I spent like 10 years making arrows and completely getting it wrong um, with knight f5. Knight First. f5, yeah, I, sp I missed rook f3, so I spent all oh, yeah, my yeah, time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and I just missed, yeah. or you can invite me to the board. Oh, yeah. Yeah, knight f5, I saw there's uh, queen h3, there's queen h3, rook g2, rook f3. Yeah, yeah I didn't see rook f3, so I was making arrows on everything else and, until... Um, yeah, and forever, so I, I didn't realize that. And then, like, um, which I think this is the right one, yeah. So, so like, I spent forever trying to figure it out. So, first of all, I realized, like, queen d3, queen h2, uh, rook g2 takes, obviously. It's a draw at best. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I realized pretty early on that's bad. King g2 seems bad. So, the only moves that make sense are knight f5 or king f1 or king g1, really, I think. Yeah, but I, so so I calculated. Um, first of all, I don't even know what Black is going to play here. Um, well, the problem is Queen A six. That that's why. Oh. Yeah. So I just saw this. Oh, uh -huh. you're saying right away. Yeah. Yeah. Th this is what I saw at, at the very end. I assume Queen A six, and you're probably you're probably in in real trouble. Uh, if it's just Queen A six right away, then yeah, that that okay. That's a yeah. I mean, that's reality. kind of the problem. So like mm -hmm. yeah, so I I saw Queen A six and I'm like okay well then then it just has to be King G one I don't really know why but I just I assume after Rookie one you go King F two and you still are drawing like King F two Rookie eight is a draw I don't I mean again you might have more you might have the computer so you'll probably see if it's if I'm crazy or not but oh King G two is apparently winning really wow King G two Knight F four King F two wow wow okay yeah that's insane yeah that's just insane. Oh, so it's actually a winning pu puzzle. Wow. I guess. But the guy, guys, why are you using engines? Like, what's the point of this? Like, yeah. Come on. Yeah, that's insane. Come on, guys. Like, what? What are you trying to? You guys would have never found that in a game in a million years. Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> there's no point in doing that. I mean, you know, I saw I, people in my chat were also writing King G1, and I and I, and I was like, okay, are they just writing your move? Like, is that what you're saying? Like, and I guess it was, but they're now mm -hmm. you can triangulate. Like, guys, come on. What is this? Like. What is the point of this? Like, yeah, yeah, is no, it is it course, is it actually that? Yeah, it's king it's king g one. It's like king g one rook d four rook h five or something, right? It's this. Yeah, it's it's king g two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is just crazy. Yeah, no, th I mean th this one is pretty insane, to put it mildly. 
But I mean, I want, it, it does make sense why King G1 is the right move. And then is this queen of six. Yeah. So I saw, uh, I saw this, 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 mm -hmm. like this, this, and rook h5. And I was like, that works. But then, yeah, in my head, I was like, queen a, yeah. for some reason, queen a6 right away just didn't. Right. No, no, I mean, I, I think queen a6, yeah, it's just, it's a tough move to spot. It's funny. I saw the idea with moving the rook first, which is, mm -hmm. okay. Um, yeah, triangulation is wild there. Yeah, that that one's pretty insane. That is King G one. That that's really nuts. Well, let's just let's let's see if uh, let's see if Mister Wojciech found it in his game. Was he able to spot the triangulation idea? I doubt it. I mean, maybe if it was really slow. Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay, so did he did he find the move? Did he find the move? Did he find the move? I think uh, I think he did. Really? Wow. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I guess you know it's it's true. If you if you have like 20, 20 minutes, I mean, if this is a slow game, I can kind of see it happening. But I mean, if this if this is a if this is a really slow game and you have half an hour, I can I can I think someone can find it. But if you have like five minutes, I don't think so. I think it's almost impossible, is my guess. That, uh, yeah, that, that makes sense. Or you just play into it by accident. Um, yeah, I mean, it's true that you, you you could you could you could play by accident. That 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 is true because you could you could play like you could see like you, if you realize there's a checkmate. Like if I realize there was the mate, I probably can find it. Um, if mm -hmm. I if I hadn't like gone on my arrow arrow insanity with knight f five and everything, so probably then you can figure it out because king f one. You realize king f one queen a six is bad, so then king g one kind of does make sense. Um, on the one hand. One last one? Sure, absolutely. There's the big fat fork being threatened on C6. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I saw that right. And it's black to move. Yeah, um, it's black to move. Okay, all right. Perfect. Okay, good. Talk to you in like five minutes. Cool. Okay, let's go. Okay, so it's black to play and move here. White is threatening a big fat fork on C6. First instinct is bishop H3. Actually, I don't even understand what this is because bishop H3 seems like the only move here. So I'm kind of confused. Queen g5, knight f3 is no good. I mean, maybe if rook d2 first. It's kind of weird. doesn't look right at all. Queen g5 is no good because of just knight f3. I This one, I'm kind of confused. What is this exactly? Bishop h3? I don't understand. I mean, maybe I have the wrong position here, but I think it's just bishop h3. What am I missing? Just takes, takes, and queen e5? I don't understand. No, Queen C five White just moves the knight back, and you're not you're not attacking the rook on A seven. Knight C six. I don't know. I don't know what the difference is. F four. I can play rook F rook F three Queen E one. So for example, this 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 rook F three Queen E one like King H two. I don't think I have a win there. My man Almighty Plasma suggesting some more uh, very original ideas in the chat. Hmm. So the question is, what are the um, what are the moves after Bishop H three? I don't I don't know what White has. Um, White has Knight F three, and you just play the game after Bishop G four. You're probably a little bit better. Rook D two is also an interesting move, but there's always Knight C six. You have to be careful. Um, Let's see. Rook d2 does make sense. Rook d2, bishop b1, maybe? I know. Bishop h3 seems right, but it also is not. It can't. It, it maybe is not right, because then it's just a game. And I feel like there's probably something better. I mean, all moves make sense here. I mean, rook d2 also. It's rook d2 or bishop h3. Those are the only two moves that make any sense in the world here. So let's work, th work it through it backwards. Let's work through rook d2, bishop b1. Um, I don't know. Bishop H3 just seems right.
Yeah, bishop h3 just seems right. I can't I can't think of anything better. I mean, bishop h3 just looks so natural. I don't know, bishop h3, the knight, maybe the knight takes something. Maybe bishop h3, the knight takes on f7. Like, for example, bishop h3, knight f7. But, I don't know. Ah, stretch. Hmm. I mean, I, I just don't understand how it's not this move. Yeah, I'm 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 pretty confident that it's bishop takes h3. Um Yeah, bishop h3, white can play knight f7, but you can always just take and go rook d2 there. I mean it's it's gotta be it, it's it's gotta be um I mean, it's got to be bishop h3. I don't see anything else. I am pretty sure it's bishop h3. I mean, nothing else really makes sense. Yeah, I, I think it's bishop h3. Bishop h3, knight c6, queen g5, and white's getting checkmated, basically. So you guys are saying bishop h3, knight f7. Like I said, queen f7 takes, and rook d2 just looks crushing for black. Yeah, I, I think it's just bishop takes h3. That's, that's just what I think it is. I'm pretty confident that it's just bishop h3. Um... Queen c5 is no good. Yeah. Knight, knight f3, bishop g4. And again, it's not a puzzle rush, so you just keep going on with bishop g4. Um, I mean, I, rook d2, bishop b1 is also a move, but I don't see a... I don't see any way to win. I don't know. It's it's not a puzzle rush. Yeah, I, I, think, I think it's... I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm a little bit tired at this point, but I, I think it's just bishop h3. Bishop h3, knight f3, and then I, I i mean, I don't know. Bishop g4 is a move. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I think I think it's bishop takes h3. Bishop takes h3 looks good for white. I mean, it could be rook d2, but what's the move after rook d2, bishop, bishop d1? No, I think it's bishop h3. It's definitely bishop takes h3. I mean, I'm just, I'm pretty confident that it's bishop takes h3. Yo, uh, yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't understand why it wouldn't be bishop takes h3. <laughs> Same, yeah, exactly, yeah. I Now, I'm going to say something. Yeah. Uh, the person that found the last answer wrote rook d2 and queen g5. Now, if that's the right answer, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> but it can't be because there's just knight f3 to fork the queen and the rook. Well, I'm, I, I guess they were saying rook d2, knight c6, queen g5. Oh, okay, um, yeah. Yeah, I... Okay, I I like I don't understand. Like, is there some desperado? Like, is there? Yeah, someone someone in my chat. There's a couple of people in my chat are saying there's some rook d two, bishop b one, bishop c four or something. I mean, I I, I assume that's the right move because a few people said it, but I I don't really, I don't know. It's kind of random. Is that correct though or not? Well, let's take a look. I mean, bishop okay. h three looks just yeah. absurdly human. I... Yeah, yeah, no, no, of course. What do you evaluate the position after bishop h three equal or? I would assume it's equal, but I, th I think it's completely playable for black. I mean, with bishop g4, knight d4, and then, I don't know, like rook d6 maybe. I mean, maybe it's true that it's actually not great for black. Um, but rook d2 and bishop c4 seems also pretty random. Okay, um, it's rook d2? Yeah. <laughs> bishop b1 and bishop c4, I bet, right? Uh, so wait, let let's see what he says. Black is a pawn down for the moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On the verge of winning an exchange. Uh, okay, so I want to see what he says about Bishop H3. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? He doesn't comment on Bishop H3. <laughs> what? No, I'm, I'm sorry. I, what? How does he not comment on the only obvious move in the board? Whoa, Knight F3? I mean, Knight F3 is a move, of course, but I mean, it's just a game. Yeah, like, I don't know, here or even here. Like or even here. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't understand it at all. Yeah, it's kind of weird. So what's he says? What rook d two? Yeah. Okay. Well, at least we're on the same page. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, rook d two, bishop b one, and yes, of course. I mean, Tikar, why would we ever doubt our fantastic chat members? <laughs> um, take take double the pawns, but you have this coming in. Yeah, in rook this. b two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow. And uh, rook d two and uh, knight c six is queen g five the top move? Yeah, of course it's. The top yeah, that's that's just insane. <laughs> <laughs> That's completely insane. I mean, 
Oh, wow. Knight B8. And then, wait, I, how's this winning? A ah, rook F2! <laughs> Queen G5, Knight B8, Bishop H3. I, I, I didn't, well, we forgot to invite each other, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, wow. That's, wait, uh, so I mean. Wait, so Rook D2, Knight C6, you said, right? Rook D2, Knight C6, Queen G5, mm -hmm. Knight B8, Bishop H3, G3, Rook takes F2. Oh, very nice. Yeah, yeah very, very nice. King F2, it's just Queen D2 and Queen G2, mate. Wait. Right. And if rook f2, you just take and take on f2. Just clean mate in the corner. Oh, okay. After rook takes f2, rook f2, I forgot that queen c1 is not the move. It's queen ah, g3. Ah, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. I forgot, and then you... Okay, yeah, I didn't... That's yeah. pretty brutal. Yeah, wow. Uh, No, okay, I mean... So in a game, you'd play bishop takes h3? I think I would play bishop <laughs> h3, yeah. I mean, if it's very slow and I have half, half an hour, I mean, maybe I would think about it. But most likely, I would play bishop takes h3. Well, uh... Your thoughts. So the way this book is organized mm -hmm. is it's it's three different chapters of like lots of exercises. So it's a very thick analysis. I mean, it's it's for people 1,800, 2,000 plus. And what would you suggest for an average ELO for puzzles like this? I mean, way over master. Right? Yeah, like, I would say this is probably 20, 23, 2400 for sure. I mean, some of them, not all of them, but I think I think for sure it's like 2300. That would be the minimum, 2300. Yeah, that's that that's that's my feeling as well. Like that that rook f8. Um, probably minimum time would be like 10, 15 minutes per position. Yeah, I, I think say. if you take fifteen minutes, then yeah, it would. Um, yeah, okay. it makes makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah. Okay, I don't have a lot of other chess books, but I would be down to uh to just do this uh just yeah. period. I don't know if uh yeah, this is fun sure. for you. No, no, no. I mean, I actually enjoy. it. I mean, I think since it's been a long stream for me too. Like at this point, I'm starting to fade a little bit. But yeah, I mm -hmm. um. But yeah, it's, it, it is good though, especially like those first couple, which were very thematic, like understanding what you're trying to do. It, ma it makes a lot of sense. So, so yeah, that, no, it was, that was fun. I enjoyed it. Awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah, not much else. I'm also, I'm also basically at my wits end. It's been nine and a half hours. So, um, <laughs> yeah, well, well, yeah, keep grinding, man. I mean, keep grinding as and keep grinding in general. I don't mean keep grinding as and keep. Oh yeah, I'm uh, no yeah. for no, I'm good. Yeah, no yeah. Um, puzzles. I'm 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 quite alright today. I should probably go yeah. go for a walk. Um, yeah. All right, we'll uh, we'll link up. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, Wednesday soon. or something. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, definitely. All right, well, I'll let you get going, lovey. So so have a good one, and um, yeah, we'll do this again soon. Cool. All Bye, Caro. Right. Bye.